common injury in this day and age is you know, uh, shoulder labral tear. Yep. So clearly that athlete will be working their lower body, but you're three or four months post labral surgery. Right. What are the first things you're going to do with that athlete? Bring it back into the weight room addressing their upper body. Right. What are the first couple things? Good question. First of all, I would do pulling. So once again, we have a row. We do a dual on a row here. Taking into consideration, this is assuming the athletic trainers, the athletes have been on tap, proper rehab, they're where they need to be for three, four months. They're probably right at that point where we're cleared to do some pulling exercise. You have both hands. Let's go through a set of 10. So one of the first one of the first things I would do is a multi-joint pulling exercise. The other thing I might think about is limiting the range of motion. This is actually working out perfect because I don't want her to go below that point and make sure we stay contracted up at the top. The thing we want to work first, posterior musculature. There's a lot of muscle at the back of the athlete in the upper body. We want to prepare that muscle to help take some of the, some of the strength that shoulder is going to be asked to do. So one of the first things I'm going to do is a row. Some of the single joint options that we have, we can do a YTA. I like doing on an incline, doesn't have to be a big incline. Who's up? Uh, doesn't matter. Somebody hop in there. Yeah. Chest down, face down. And some athletes aren't even going to need five Is pounds. Is supposed to be? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I want you to slay me. You're going thumbs up, straight over your head, as high as you can go. Right here. As high as you can go. Straight up. So we would do a YTA. Good. Try to come up a little higher. I might even take her to pre exhaustion now. Once again, range of motion. This is probably the only technically overhead thing that I would do with a labral athlete, depending on what our athletic trainers, depending on what the PT said. Open communication for anyone, whether you're at the high school level, private facility, college, professional, you have to be able to have a working communication with your athletic trainers, with your physical therapists, everyone in that building. 